Hello everyone, my name is Izzedin Osman and this is AutoCAD 2D Floor Plan Layout for Beginners Annotation Yeah, let's get started now Without wasting any time, let's look upon to the floor plan I'm gonna draw this 8000 mm wall first 8600 mm wall Okay So I'm just, I'm just gonna click line you can just uh, click line or you can type L enter click one point polar track it during the polar track um, you just type in 8600 as in your measurement of the wall so I'm going down so uh, going down the wall that is going down right now is actually 8000 mm in dimension so I'm gonna type 8000 now alright and press enter so I'm going to object snap track this particular uh, wall portion and press escape alright press escape on your keyboard click offset and type in 200 mm as its distance click one line and click a point to define the site that you want to offset to okay let's look on the floor plan again so I'm trying to draw the 6000 mm wall here so I'm just gonna type um, L enter and click this point and polar track it type 6000 and press enter this portion I'm just gonna object snap track it alright so I'm just looking back to the floor plan again Alright, so get the measurements right, click line and close this particular internal wall by using line command. Alright, we've, we've done that and click offset to offset the line or you can press O, enter, type in the, the distance of the offset which is 200 mm, click this wall, click outside to define the site you want to offset to. Okay, click this wall, click the other side, click this wall, click to the other side, click this wall, click to the other side. Right? And I'm going I'm going to use fillet fillet or fillet now to press A enter, type C enter, and click one start point and click to the other end point. So I'm just gonna mirror this by typing M I enter. M I enter for mirror. Okay, I'm going to offset these two lines by 50 mm and close it. All right, close it. Okay, I'm going to close this portion. I'm going to close that portion. And uh, I'm going to hatch. All right, with uh, using the solid pattern to hatch uh, the door. Go to under predefined and click solid. Click at pick points. And click inside the region that you want to hatch in okay all right so we got our doors already set so now we're going to move it move it to the midpoint of this wall so wait until the object snap appears and click on it so I'm just going to set the boundary of that door select those two lines first before trimming it out Type TR and enter twice and trim out the unwanted portions. Right? So, I'm just gonna mark one reference line here by 500mm and just draw this line to create the executive's uh, office. Alright? So, offset this by 50mm. So, I'm using that line as my center line. So, and you type O enter, type 100 and offset this line inside. So, type TR and enter twice, trim the unwanted portions. Select the center line, uh, I'll trim out this um, portion first, and then select the center line and delete it. Okay, press L enter, right, um, alright. Okay, now I'm going to, um, all right, um, I'm going to mirror what I've just drawn just now by using mirror command 
type MI enter and select one exit point and another exit point to define the mirror line so I got um, the executive offices ready by using mirror command to uh, actually mirror um, the part that I've drawn just now to the other side by using mirror command and I can type MI enter to do that so now I'm gonna draw the um, backdrop wall for the reception okay for the reception so using the dimension stated on the floor plan layout alright so I'm just gonna draw it first then move it later to centralize it so I'm just drawing uh, my reference lines first by 1000 mm and move the backdrop wall there so uh, after that I just uh, I can delete all the reference lines all right I've created the backdrop wall now I'm gonna create um, okay let's just look upon the floor plan I'm creating the for the reception reception table all right I want to create that first okay so I'm gonna draw a line kind of the kind of point uh, for this reception also but with a different radius all right so I'm just gonna close this using a line first and I'm gonna click fill it again or I type F enter as my shortcut for fill it type R enter to call the radius option type 250 mm is my radius and fill it these two lines for this uh, internal corner edge all right so I got my reception table set already now I'm gonna move it and centralize it okay all right so we got our re reception table moved to its proper location all right now what I'm going to do here is I'm I want to copy it by clicking copy command click copy command select these two doors press enter click one base point and click another point for its displacement for its destination and then I'm gonna click line I'm gonna bound this border this particular door before I trim it out okay so I will use a line to border border this or to bound this door out for in the center of my ceiling fan so define the center point first all right type one uh okay that one goes wrongly sorry so click circle again try to find its center point type 144 as its radius okay now i'm gonna find the polar array command the polar array command so click polar array select the object that you want to array press enter okay and click one base point uh, as the center of your array type I enter to define the number of items that you want to array in this case um, we're gonna try using six first and then I enter again I'm gonna type three because my ceiling fan has three blades actually okay so we are set we are we already draw the ceiling fan and I'm gonna move it over here I'm gonna move the ceiling fan over here all right okay all right so I'm gonna I'm gonna hatch all the concrete walls okay so hatch the internal wall so I'm just gonna type T enter to enter the settings of my hatching click under swatch click solid as my swatch pattern click add point and click inside the wall region so click it and press enter so I have uh, I have hatched right for all my concrete walls alright so I'm gonna hatch this backdrop wall also alright so done